Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen, and today I'm gonna to talk about the, my former gold standards in makeup. What I used to love before I watched YouTube, and I doubt if any of these things are still available, but they're things that just make me happy. And anybody else who has fond memories of makeup, uh, you might enjoy this. I also wanted to see if I could wear a red lip with no foundation, and according to my mirror, it looks okay. I still won't wear eyeshadow unless I have on foundation, but I haven't worn foundation in, oh, probably a month. And something I wanna mention, and it's not a big deal, but for some reason today, I just have my lighted mirror over here and then my windows, and for some reason today, it's like lighting out and then sometimes like blurring my curtains. But if it doesn't, then I'm gonna take this part out. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, anytime I talk about something that is the best that it can be for me, it is my gold standard. And I think I, I first heard about that in, in grade school, what the gold standard was. It was everything that could you could compare it to. It was the top, you know, like the gold standard way to teach math according to St. Mary's Catholic Church. And it can change. But for me, my gold standards, it's the best that it could be for me. And, and these are the things that I loved back in the day. And as always, there's going to be some chit chat. And if you like back in the day, I did a collaboration several years ago with my friend Bella from the UK. I'm pretty sure she changed it, but it, was, it used to be Beauty on a Budget but she hasn't been on YouTube for a while and I hope she comes back. But we did a collaboration talking about being a teenager in the 60s and 70s. So I was a teenager until 1973. So I had preteen and teen and it was just, I shared about my memories in the United States and were her, it was her memories in the UK. So you might enjoy that. I don't know, I'll put a link to it. I loved makeup. More, I like it still, but I loved it back in the day. And why I loved it was because of my grandmother, Rose. I just, from the time I can remember, I, I loved watching her put on makeup. And she was in her 70s when I was born. But that's where I got my love of makeup. But my love of department store makeup came from my oldest sister. Anytime, I couldn't wear makeup till I was 15. Anytime I had an occasion, birthday, Christmas, whatever, she would always buy me some really nice makeup. And it was just such a treat, and I just loved it. Of course, what I could buy on my own what were things that I could buy. We didn't even have it at the drugstore. It was at the dime store is where we bought our makeup. So anyway, I grew to really love department store makeup. So I turned that little travel lighted mirror off and we'll see if this does any better. I'm not sure if it will or not. Once my kids got older and I was making more money, I liked to buy department store makeup. I loved to go to, it was Lazarus, that was in Evansville, and we had a Dillard's that was probably like 40 minutes away. And I just loved the whole experience of going to a, a department store. And what I wore most of the time, and this was probably in the 90s, in foundation, I loved Clinique Continuous Coverage Foundation, and I had it in a lot of different shades because I always mixed them. I always, I wanted it to match my skin perfectly, and I could always get it to do that. I wasn't lying out in the sun at that time, but I would, you know, be outside and I would get some color. So I could always match my color by having several tubes, and I didn't ever mind it because it was just that less often that I had to buy it. I also liked Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I just thought that gave, provided really, really good coverage. So those were my two gold standard foundations for many years, and uh, both of them are not cruelty-free. So even if I liked them, I wouldn't buy them now, because probably a year after I started my channel, I just decided I wasn't gonna buy anything that was not cruelty-free, and I, there's a lot of opinions about it. I didn't wanna buy anything that tested my makeup on animals so I could look prettier, <laughs> is what I thought. So, and I've stuck with it. And I tell you, I have missed so many things because there were so many things that I loved. Foundation, when it came to blush, I loved Lancome and it, the name of it was A Plum. And I'll type that in there. It was beautiful and I loved it. And there was a, there was a shade from Estee Lauder 
and if I can think of it, I'll put it in, but it was a beautiful, it had a highlight in it, and it was just the perfect pinky rose for me. And it just makes me happy thinking about it. I can still envision it, I can see the color, I can see what it looked like on my cheeks, um, that I, I loved both of them. The one from Lancome was a matte blush, and I probably still have some. I know I still have some. When I say probably, I know I still have some, but it, it was beautiful. And neither of those are cruelty free. When it came to mascara, my very favorite was from several of them from Lancome. And one of them was Definacil's. I, I didn't like the waterproof. I've never liked waterproof because it just, I would lose eyelashes trying to get my waterproof, uh, except if you use the Ephesils by Lancome. It, you could just put that on a pad and put it on your eye and it would melt it away. But I just never really liked a waterproof mascara. So I also used to buy the Sills Booster and they still make that, I know. But I bet they don't make one. I had one that had a rope, it, it vibrated. And you put it on your lashes and it would vibrate. And you, it, it was funny. They didn't have that for too long. But I always bought, like Mary Glitzy Fritzy, I always bought my Lancome products whenever they had specials. And it was a fabulous deal. And I'm, I do miss it. I do miss it. But And I also liked Mally Voluminous. I liked Lights, Camera, Lashes, and the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Those are the kind of mascaras that I like. None of them ever flaked on me, but I never ever put anything on my lashes. I don't put uh, any moisture on them, on my lashes. So I really think, I really feel like that they stick well on my lashes. And when it came to eyeshadow, I loved Bobbi Brown. I loved Estee Lauder eyeshadows. I loved Lancome. And I always loved the Christmas time when they'd have the great big palettes. And way back in the day, and I showed it on one of my videos a long time ago, and I don't remember which one. Back in the day, before they had Z palettes, I made my own. I took a razor and I cut it out and I'd glue it. I'd use those 10 things that CDs used to come in in the mail, and that's and I'd glue them in there and, and put the lid on it, and like I'd have the browns and I'd have different colors, but I loved that. And there was always somebody I knew that liked the shades that I didn't, because I've always been drawn, drawn to the cool shades, but that was, that's a fabulous memory. But to wear eyeshadow, I had to wear a primer of some sort. And what worked for me for many years, and, and it was the Mary Kay that you put in with, uh, with water, I would always just get, make sure I had a light shade, and I would apply that with water, and then I could wear, uh, and I, you know, blend it in real well, and then I could wear any eyeshadow over that. And the first per uh, company that I know of that made an eyelid primer is Lancome. And I used that for several years and it worked. But I could never use concealer. I, 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 I couldn't ever do those little things that other people could do because, I mean, my eyeshadow would all end up in the crease of my eye within a few hours if I didn't wear a, a primer of some sort even before they made primers. My eyeliner pencil that I used was a navy one from Lancome. They had a great one. And then when it came to, I, li I still love to, I haven't in a while, but I love eyeliner. I love liquid eyeliner, I love cake eyeliner, and I love gel eyeliner. But what I loved for many years was from Clinique, and it was in a silver, shiny silver package about this big, and you, pulled it out and there was your brush and then there was your your cake eyeliner and you just dipped your little brush in water and made it you know you knew the consistency to use and you put it on and then they also had one in purple a deep deep purple that was beautiful you know for years I used that nothing but that eyebrows I didn't do anything but use hairspray and then I found and I think this was right before I started watching YouTube channels I found something from Urban Decay, and I bought it. I still have it. I just, it was so unique because at the time there was nothing like this. On the bottom is wax, and you'd put the, brush the wax through your brows, and then on the top there were two different shades that you could use to fill in your brows, and there was, there were two applicators. I still have one, 
but I just don't ever want to give this give it away because I just thought it was just so clever at the time. This was my favorite when I started using brow products. And I don't use brow products anymore just to keep my eyebrows in place. And lipstick, let me tell you, I had a bunch that I loved that I can remember and I know there were a lot more. These are ones that I repurchased a lot. I rep uh, a different grape, I think that was from Clinique. Black Honey, uh, and I believe that was from Clinique. Sugared Maple. Raspberry Glacé, and the Juicy Tubes. So those are my favorite, and none of those are cruelty-free, but I loved them. And you know what? This has kind of been a rough week, and this made me happy to film this. I didn't want to talk about, I just didn't want to talk about anything else. I want to talk about stuff that made me happy, and it does, just the memories make me happy. I was going to do an empties video, but there's something that I'm waiting for it to get empty, and I don't usually have very many empties, so, I do empties along with something else. And then on the 20th of September, I'm gonna film my comparison on my skin. You know, it'll be 16 weeks since I started using the Omnilux Max. I'll film the footage on that day and then do the video later. So it'll probably be the first or the second video I do in October, just depending on what's going on here. You know, how that can kind of change. But I will have the filming on the 16 week mark. I've been watching a lot of football. I have a senior that uh, in high school that is a quarterback and they have a game every week. Another grandson, he's a sophomore in college and he's gone away and it's probably about four hours away. I haven't gone to any games, but I get to watch him on TV. And he is a sophomore and he is playing a ton on the varsity team. So I get so excited. I get to put them on my either my TV or my laptop and, and watch it. So it's it's really been a joy. But if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. And you know I love to do giveaways. And let me think what I want to... Okay, number one, you have to be 18 years old or older. And you just need to leave a comment below. And this time I think what I want you to use are these words right up here. Gold standard in a sentence, and you can tell me you're the best of the best, whether it is your favorite jam or jelly, the brand of it, or your makeup, or anything that is just as good as it gets. And one of these days, I may film a video talking about my gold standard products for right now, but, uh, but I don't know if I will or not. Since this is a giveaway, I will not be able to reply to comments or questions, but if you go to any video of mine prior to this, just you can ask your question or leave a you know a comment there and and I definitely can get back to you. And I forgot to mention what's in the giveaway. Today I'd like to give away to three people a $100 e-gift card or deposit in a PayPal account. And anytime I do a giveaway, unless I mention it in the video, like in my skincare videos, sometimes the companies give me something, but but I would tell you if they do. Somebody asked me that, and yes, I do pay for my own giveaways, and it's my pleasure to do so. As always, I close my videos three days after I upload it, and then I announce a winner on the next video. So you're not going to get, if anybody tells you you won something from me, don't believe it till it comes out of my mouth, because there's still a ton of scammers. Something else, if you're still here, I'm going to mention this. I may have to move this bookcase. I, it looks like it's lined up on my phone, and when sometimes when I look at it, it's not, and so we'll just see if I got it straight. There's lines in the grid of my cell phone, and it looks perfect. Before I had the bookcase here, I, had, I could level it, and it would be level, but when you live in a home that was built in 1891, I guarantee you these floors aren't level, so maybe I could prop up the end. I don't know. But anyway, it is all good. Uh, thank you for spending time with me because I appreciate it so much. I will see you in my next video and you take care. I have no idea what is going on. There's nothing that's changed. Because, but even if, because in grade school, and I used those, uh, this isn't, but for some reason, my I, I phone and another one I did and before I, I'm 
I just didn't ever really like the 